What's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up here with Justin Henry. And today I'll be talking about the Cincinnati Bengals top three options heading into the fantasy football season. Uh, we saw them last year get to the Super Bowl and real football have an amazing year. But that was also a really strong fantasy season for them as well. We saw Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, Joe Mixon, a number of fantasy options. And I'm going to talk about my top three options heading into this year. First is going to be T. Higgins. And yes, T. Higgins is being drafted right now as a top 15 wide receiver, especially in PPR formats. And that's for good reason. We saw him last year had over 70 catches, over 1,000 yards. He had six touchdowns, and that was just in 14 games. And so we saw the emergence of Jamar Chase, but this did help T. Higgins towards the end of last season. In a six-game stretch, he had 400-yard games, uh, which is a, a huge improvement on the first half of the year. And yes, it shows that he can still be productive even as the number two, quote-unquote, wide receiver for this team. He operates as more of a secondary wide receiver one, so T. Higgins' value shouldn't be shot in the dark, and there is a lot more upside than it appears on the surface. I'm valuing T. Higgins as a top 12 wide receiver in PPR formats, and in standard leagues, he should be around the same, maybe top 15. So don't let him slip too far in your drafts just because Jamar Chase is the top receiver there, uh, fantasy purpose-wise. T. Higgins is a good value in the top 15 picks. The next player I want to talk about is Joe Mixon, uh, who had an incredible year last year, finished as a top five running back in all formats. And I look for him to replicate that this season as well. The offensive line looks to be improved. Uh, his role seems to be a little bit more cemented, and the team is expecting him to get a little bit more work in the passing game as well. So when I look at Joe Mixon, we've seen him have kind of a roller coaster start to his career, but now he's been cemented as a top 10 running back and being drafted as such. Even though he finishes the top five running back last year, I don't want to quite put him in there just yet because there's some upside of other backs uh, that's in that in there. You know, we're talking about Derrick Henry's, Christian McCaffrey's, the Jonathan Taylors of the world. They carry a little bit more upside than Joe Mixon, but he has cemented his role in the top 10 running backs. Definitely somebody that you can get in the second, third round and get a tremendous value on. Last player I want to talk about is Jamar Chase who is going as a top three to five wide receiver right now and after historic rookie season has every reason to be going at that range. He had almost 1,500 yards receiving. We saw him have 13 touchdowns receiving. Dude's a monster and a big play threat. He had two games last year over 200 yards, including in the finals for a lot of leagues. He had a game of 266 yards with three touchdowns uh, to probably secure the bag for a lot of teams. So Jamar Chase definitely has the upside that you want to see in operating as the team's de facto wide receiver one. He will go through different matchups with tough cornerbacks, but I expect him to be a reliable source of fantasy points throughout the whole season, including the potential to be the wide receiver one overall if needed. So just know the big plays are there. He has the potential to win you a week, which is what you love to see in fantasy football. Uh, but for me, he is entrenched as a top five wide receiver right now with potential for a lot more. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Obviously, I didn't talk about Joe Burrow, but we know he's a dynamic quarterback as well, so feel free to draft away when it comes to Joe Burrow. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Take advantage of the offer below, and we'll see you on the next Hurry Up.